Hi there, and welcome to Ripke Studios Practice Bits. Today, we're gonna to continue to do a upper and middle chord voicing idea. We're gonna, in Practice Bits 24, we did the this D upper voicing, playing only the first three strings and adding the sus for it. Pinky under the third finger on the first string, okay? Now, in the last one, we did this, the open A chord, and used the middle voicing only using strings two, three, and four. And that's us. But in this one, we're going to use this A shape, which is like, like an F, F shape, kind of a staircase, strings two, three, four. We're going to move it up to the uh, fifth fret. Now, to get the A sus four, we put our pinky under the third finger on the third string and back up. So that gives us these two chords, D. Okay, so again, D, upper voicing, first three strings, there's the sus four, back to the D, and then the A, this middle voice. Okay, for the G, we're gonna use the D shape as we did in practice bits 24, the seventh fret, okay? And then the last chord, D, we're going to use that F shape again, but it's going to be all the way up here at the 10th fret. Again, to get the sus, you put your pinky down under the third finger on the third string. Let's try the whole progression. Okay, where are we at? We're on the G. Thanks for joining me in today's Ripley Studio Practice Bits.